All right, welcome back, YouTube, to Reverend Sam and the Church of the Spinning Wheel, where the only God we pray to is the porcelain one. Today, I am going to shoot a video about riding with a suicide clutch. Okay, suicide clutch would be, this is my clutch, this is my shifter. Now that we got that explanation out of the way, guess I could turn the lights on. Okay, those are my dims. Yeah. It's been a while. I haven't ridden this bike in a good long time. Boy, my fucking headlight is. Ah, shit. Maybe I should tighten that up, huh? <sighs> Holy shit. Okay, let's fucking peel this off and deal with this. As you can see, I have gaffer's tape holding my headlight on to add to the chopperific fun of riding this particular motorcycle. All right, foot clutch jockey shift, affectionately known as a suicide shift. So the first thing you gotta do if you're gonna ride a bike like this is fill out your will because it's not called a die in your sleep in bed as an old man clutch it's a suicide clutch and as everybody knows this setup kills 100% of the riders who attempt to, to ride them 100% of the time you're basically you're a huge pussy if you don't die uh, every time you ride this bike or the next thing you need to do while riding a bike like this is be super super judgmental uh, to every other motorcycle on the road you know like usually uh, bikers wave at each other and you still wave at them but as you wave you look at him and you and you just and you just say pussy 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 I haven't seen too many bikes out tonight which is weird because it's oh there's one pussy oh pussy kind of a companion to that point is every time you ride a bike like this you want to make sure that any other bike that you run into they see you running that foot clutch and that hand shift. You know, I mean, otherwise there's no point in doing it, right? Now, for those of you who don't know why this is called a suicide clutch, instead of just calling it a foot clutch, is that the clutch is spring-loaded like it is on a car. They used to have foot clutches on old Harleys and Indians right from the factory but they had rocker clutches uh, like a tractor so you could basically push the clutch in and a set of springs on a rocker would hold the clutch for you so you could put both of your feet down uh, this clutch does not have that if you take your foot off of it the bike is going to start moving so now this bike has like no lights as you can see there's no hand controls uh, to move the starter button up here into the dash hidden um, you know there's no blinkers uh, it just has running lights and a brake light and the brake light is only hooked to the back brake uh, because I removed all the wiring for everything else right here 
So the other thing that you absolutely have to do if you are running this configuration on your motorcycle is you need to make it seem way gnarlier than it actually is uh, to the boys at the bar. I mean, you gotta make it like uh, seem like it's the hardest thing on earth. You're literally gonna die every single fucking time. You gotta, you gotta say phrases like, "It's my anti-theft device because thieves are afraid to try to drive it." clutch stop you from driving like an asshole on the freeway yeah look at my fucking headlight just jump up and down I'll figure all that shit out later because I do intend on starting to ride this bike more because it is a fun bike can't always be uh, you know blasting through corners with your fucking hair on fire yeah, I'm gonna have to plug this thing into the laptop and fucking retune it. Uh, the retool, retune the fuel injection. I had a different exhaust on it the last time I tuned it, and uh, and it's really, really showing. She's running pretty fucking lean, as you can tell by the popping and pinging when I uh, when I decelerate. Keep having to fight the urge to. Uh, pull up on my clutch like I was shifting up on the Dyna. That actually, uh, when I first got the Dyna, I'd been riding this thing for about a year and a half with a, with a foot clutch and a hand shift. And I jumped on the Dyna and went to dinner at a very, very fancy restaurant. And uh, I go to slow down. I'm in the, I'm in the uh, left turn lane and I just jammed the bike down two gears because uh, I was used to pushing the foot clutch down which was highly amusing for the uh, for the guys working there the guys working the door I'm leaving the TT Roadhouse at my normal time another entertaining evening with the boys my taped in headlight seems to still be working that's good so let's see uh, what all did I cover I'm teaching you about riding a foot clutch and hand shifted Harley Davidson. Uh, we covered the your will because you're definitely going to die. Uh, we covered uh, your uh, overblown uh, sense of being cooler than everybody else, the pompous nature of doing it. We covered calling everybody a pussy. Uh, we covered uh, oh yeah, over inflating uh, the risks to your friends at the bar because you don't want them to do it. Uh, you don't want them to, to ride one because then they'll find out that it's really not as scary as it looks. I think that's about it. Oh yeah, you got you have to grow your beard as long as you can. Uh, if you can't grow a beard, um, I suggest a merkin. Wait, I think a merkin is uh, is fake pubic hair. Whatever a, a fake, uh, the name for a fake beard would be, it might just be fake beard. Any foot clutch hand shift setup, you really, 
look way ahead. Give give yourself lots and lots of room. I mean, I I didn't really plan on giving any actual real advice during this video, but what you really you that's that's the most important thing is giving yourself plenty of room so that if you fuck up or somebody else fucks up, you've got ch you've got time to to compensate. All right. Oh. Kickstand's in a different spot. So that's been another Reverend Sam. Thanks for watching. Rating, subscribing, all that good shit. And I hope you enjoyed it.